Hey guys, my name is Frank Solomon. I'm a professional server from Cape Town in South Africa. Um, my foundation's name is Sentinel Ocean Alliance and I'm excited to, for you to see the film. It's a really short little bio on what we do and what we're about and um, I hope you enjoy it. How has surfing impacted my life? Well, surfing it has played a, a huge role in my life from my younger ages up until now because whenever I'm in the ocean out there surfing, there's no one to judge me as to I'm a beginner surfer, I'm a pro surfer, or I'm a middle class-ish kind of surfer. Everyone surfs and everyone is one. No one gets judged. It's a place where you get to be yourself and you kind of forget reality in a way. But then when you're done surfing and you come back to our communities, you kind of have to face reality in a way. I wish I could keep the feeling I, I get from being in the ocean up until where I am now, but then we've got to be real. You come home and you have to face reality. And how I had coped with all, all of reality in my community, I'd go down, play a game of football, or go surf, but surfing has been a huge, has played a, a huge role in my life. Growing up in my neighborhood. Growing up in my neighborhood had its pros and cons. Growing up in this neighborhood in particular, you had gangs, you had violence and a whole lot of things. Whenever you see how packed this place is, it's one house next to the other and growing up there would be people breaking into houses, stealing and the neighborhood would take matters into their own hands. Police were never a source of help and so that had an impact on small kids in the time. They grew up thinking violence is the only way to solve issues but then there, there was the ocean, the place where I loved going. I would go there like twice a week growing up and I'd come back home, get a hiding, but I never stopped going But because I understand that my parents never understood what I had in mind at the time, but now they're reaping the fruits of what I had planted in the, back in the days when I would go to the beach and get a hiding. This is my favorite part of being an instructor and passing those skills on to the next generation. So, my favorite part of being an instructor and passing the skills to smaller kids or the next generation is, I mean, being in the ocean and teaching a kid to surf, it might seem as if that's just it. You're basically teaching a kid to surf, but then that kid grows up knowing there is a positive role model out there, someone that cares about me, someone that I can walk up to and talk to and I know that person won't judge me. That's the favorite part of the work I do. And I mean, if we pass these skills on to the next generation, the next generation will pass those skills on to their next generation and this lives on. It all starts with like one person and in working together, the whole change is visible. I mean, it's a work of not a day, but it takes time. We've got to bear that in mind as well. Hey, Chad here. Yeah, from Outbay. Yeah, growing up in that neighborhood, Outbay, Hangburg, the Sentinel Mountain. So yeah, it's cool, fun, and also tough at some times. Growing up as a kid, you face many challenges up in my community, Hamburg. But yeah, the challenges I faced actually made me the person I am today, which was kind of cool. That is, that is what I like about my community. Sometimes, like, challenges you face makes you, like, a stronger person. But it also depends on how you handle it. Yeah, the fun times, like the fun times in Outbay is what I loved of Outbay was. 
the mountains and the environment the sea the ocean the beach everything is right there by you but i never really served when i was younger i only started serving at the age of 18 years old or 19 yeah 19 years old that is when i started serving so yeah i never really served as a kid but i always swimmed and catch fish and stuff on the harbor because it was so close by yeah so it was pretty awesome growing up in outbreak challenges i faced in outbreak was more like more like crime poverty i wouldn't say po like poverty didn't affect me so bad because i think i had a good mom she she looked well after me she looked after me well yeah but all this stuff in how to play but it's actually it's actually one of the challenges that also makes you kind of stronger person when you when you made it in when you made when you made it through see when you push through all those challenges so yeah and also kind of as a kid bullying is something you also face in our paper yeah i am who i am today and it's kind of cool and i'm glad i'm surfing because since i started surfing that is when i changed that is when my whole life changed yeah that is what it was like growing up in outbreak fun